coming. We're very happy to have this. Uh, presu presume we did a ribbon cutting <laughs> and a open house. We actually were hoping to cut a ribbon right in the front there, but we don't want them standing in the rain. We're a human service agency. We're here to help. <laughs> so thank you for coming. Uh, we are excited to introduce our new Youth and Family Services Center. It's been uh, probably two years in the making, and uh, we're, we're also proud to, uh, to show off the work of our staff. You know, what, what's interesting to me is that uh, unlike some of our other clinical divisions, this division for years has been working out of three or sometimes four different buildings, making collaboration and coordination challenging. They did a great job, but it's nice to have everyone in one place. And out of this building, we will be doing counseling, case management, vocational services, crisis intervention. Our school-based staff will pop into here. Uh, and we'll be, in many ways, providing hope to a lot of the families we're working with and uh, opportunities for young people to learn how to transition to adulthood. A lot of energy has been involved in putting this day together, including a lot of energy from our staff and our clients, who uh, I think are as proud of this facility as we are. So uh, it's been uh, quite a journey. I want to say a few things that I don't want to forget. And one of them is that, I want to wrote this down, we had fun doing this project, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Smile. I can say that. I can certainly say that now. And you know, I want you to know, we, the agency bought this house in 2000 from Habitat for Humanity. Uh, they bought it and did some renovation. They didn't choose to continue when we bought it from them. And, we bought it because of the proximity to our mothership and our other <laughs> facilities, and we thought, well, future possibilities. And for a few years, we, for several years, we had children's programming coming out of here. I say here because right where you're standing is where the original building was. Uh, the agency decided several years ago that we wanted to figure out a way to get everybody together. Together, there's over 20 staff who are working in several facilities. So we decided we wanted to uh, deconstruct the house that we owned and put a larger, new, modern facility on the site. However, we met with the Historic Preservation Commission, and after that meeting, we agreed and thought it would be the best if we would move the house 40 yards north and put an addition on the house thereby preserving uh, an example of the architecture of the time as well as giving our folks a modern and respectful facility to work out of. So, uh, you know, the town at one point, I think, thought that the house, we all thought it was a Sears house that came up on the train. It turned out not to be a Sears house, but in any event, it was in the historical register. It was built in 1928 by the Dunham brothers, and uh, it has been, it's an example of the architecture in the neighborhood and the community. So, in any event, we decided to move it and put an addition on. So you are standing on the footprint where pretty much where the old house was. It was moved 40 yards that way thanks to the Connors brothers who basically did it in a day. And uh, we put an addition on which I think uh, respects mm -hmm. and honors the old house and also offers opportunity to staff and clients who work well together. Sure, I tell you. Oh, I oh, I know Charlie is here from TD Bank, and I want to say that we financed this building the old-fashioned way. We basically put some money down, we took out a loan, and we promised to pay it back. <laughs> Charlie's on our board as well. Very smart. <laughs> And, you know, we had a great group of partners to help us do this project. I know Paul would agree. And, you know, this was almost a year and a half in development, and we basically uh, wanted to start earlier than we wound up starting. And it was winter before we broke ground, and staff just moved into this facility last week. So it was a long haul, but we had great partners, and I want to make sure I recognize them. I'm not sure if they're here or not, but I want to recognize Rob Naylor, Kim Levins, and John Crossman from Naylor and Breen Builders, who basically did the project. There's John. You know, it's nice to see John standing out there because he basically lived in this place for six months. <laughs> I want to thank Jeff Goldstone from Goldstone Architecture and Kurt Moore from BMA Architecture, primary architects here, did a great job. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jason Domich from MSK Engineering did a lot of work. We're looking at water. We think of Jason when we see water. <laughs> Doug Ball from TD Bank. And I want to thank Dan Monk, so I'm not sure if Dan is here or not. He's on the Heart Historic Preservation Commission as well as been a good partner to us as we, you know, this was not an easy project with an old house and a new addition. And Dan was, was great and he worked out really well. I also want to thank who I'm calling our specialty contractors, and there are a bunch of them, but certainly Craig Weaver from Weaver Excavating, Jerry Prue from Prue Electric, and Dave and Brad Hayden from Hayden Plumbing and Heating, and that unit's working pretty good. Well. <laughs> I also want to thank our board who gave me the uh, permission to take this old historic building, move it, gut it, and put an addition on. It's a lot of trust there, and I appreciate that. I especially want to thank Paul Becker, who's Director of our Facilities and Safety, who lived this project from beginning to end, very dedicated. You're looking at, at uh, the result of that, and I thank you, Paul. Let's give Paul a round. <laughs> and I want to thank the staff who uh, had patience, who let us move them out of here, mm -hmm. stuffed them all into a building across town that was way too small for way too long. I know. <laughs> and how, however, I hope that you'll appreciate that this was worth it. And let me just say, if you don't, talk to Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, again, thank you very much. We have tour guides here who are going to show you around. If you're interested in having a tour guide show you around, raise your hand, tour guides. Raise your hand, tour guides. <laughs> and, you know, just some food spread about. So thank you for coming and take a look. And uh, we appreciate your support. And let's go have a tour. So thank you and give yourselves a round.